Hey guys, it's Paula. Um, I wanted to show you guys all the stuff I found in the dumpster. I actually found a lot. I heard a car door at first. I heard a car start first and then my dog's trying to go outside. Look, our dog's trying to go outside. Baby Lee. <laughs> He's so cute. Baby Lee, what's wrong? Are you tired too? Yeah, mommy is too. And yes, I am wearing a Christmas onesie. It's the only onesie I have and I wanted to wear it. It's actually really cute. Let me show you guys. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Dum, dum, dum. Ba, dum, bum, bum. I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> so that's that. I think those are mistletoes. That's kind of stupid because um, it should be like deer horns or something. I don't know. I'll find better onesies. But I like this one. This one's nice. Like the material's nice. It's nice and soft and stuff. I like that about it. All right. So what have I found? All right. So first I'm going to show you guys the stuff I found for... Um, our faces, because me and Angelo, actually, my son is starting to get a little bit of breakouts too, so I am going to use um, some of the stuff with him, but this is what I found, and it's all by the same brand. The brand is called Dermalogic, actually Dermalogica, which makes no sense, but okay, Dermalogica Pro. One step prep. This is a leave-in one prep solution with witch hazel and alcohol that effectively degreases the skin. Fac facilitating deeper peel penetration and optimal results with fewer layers of peel solution. No removal required. Degreases skin in preparation for treatment, allows for excellent product penetration, more something treatments with fewer layers of acid. Efficacious. Efficacious. It's got to be fancy words. Efficacious. More efficacious treatments. <laughs> Some of these words are so fucking dumb. But anyways... I'm actually going to test this out with you guys, and I don't know, I wonder if that's how it's really supposed to look, because, I don't know. It smells weird, and I'm scared to use it. Hmm. I guess it actually, I don't know, kind of just made my skin smoother. Okay, so this is the prep. So I'm going to use some on my face. I'm going to put it in my hand. Or one step prep, the one step prep, guys. There we go. Oh. One step prep. We are one step prepping ourselves. Okay. Then I'm going to do my hair. Or my hair. Do my, um. There we go. Ah. Oh. There we go. Wait. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
All right. Not feeling a burning sensation or anything like that. Hmm. All right, next. This is the Intensive Moisture Cleanser. It's light, light, creamy cleanser enhanced with Bio Replenish Complex. Removes impurities while actively nourishing dry, depleted skin. So, this is a cleanser. It's actually a big bottle of it. Whoa. Smells kind of good. It's a big bottle with the pump. I thought that was cool. Next thing we have, these are like all masks that I have left. And a little bit of water got into like the seam of it, which is kind of making me mad. Yeah, it's going all over my mat that I just laid out today. That sucks. But whatever. All right. Oh well, the mat will dry. So this is um clinical oatmeal mask it's multi-purpose it's a multi-purpose mask that contains pharmaceutical grade colloid colloidal oatmeal aloe vera and oat oil to help soothe sensitive skin and elevate alleviate itching irritation and discomfort from dryness Use alone or customize with a dermatological additive or botanical mixer. Not for a retail sale. So this is clinical oatmeal mask. It's an oatmeal mask. Found that. I'm telling you, I found a bunch of these. It was like a box full of stuff. I'm like, holy crap. And they're like, most of them are full to the top. This is massage. Ma ugh, massage gel cream a lightweight massage gel cream featuring motion activated oils for longer lasting slip this stuff is i don't know some of these names are so funny um nourishing safflower and sunflower oils antioxidants vitamin e and glycerin hydrate and smooth and smooth the skin what Glycerin hydrate and smooth the skin. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Massage gel cream. This is collodial mask base, a multi purpose mask base that cools and hydrates the skin while green tea extra. While green tea extracts soothes and calms. A multi purpose mask base that cools and hydrates the skin. Hmm. And yes, this one is a gel. Like the oatmeal one was like a yellow brown. This one is actually like a totally clear gel. That massage gel cream is a white color. Whoa, sorry. It's a white color. And this is the last one. It's conductive mask base. So it's an active hydrating mask that fuses the natural power of phytonutrients from European brown algae with dual 
hyaluronic acid to hydrate and cool while helping to defend skin against daily stresses and reduces signs of aging. Hmm. What color is this baby and how does it smell? They all do... Oh, this is a blue gel. Okay. All right. I found, I found a couple different face treatments at Ulta. I have a Clinique one in my bathroom that I haven't really used that much. Um, I am using, I found, I actually found two more of these products by the Dermalogica Pro. Um, and one is a face cleanser and then the other one is um the one the other one is sorry my eye is like freaking itching the other one is um or was a tap what was it something the other one was was like a tonic or something it was a spray bottle and um that's the one I threw out because, uh, I was like, at my finger look funny? I threw the other one out because, um, what do you call it? Um, because it was like funny. I don't know. It just, I don't know. It just wasn't working. I spaced out for a minute. All right, now to the cool and fun stuff. So first of all, I found these. I think these are supposed to be like um, testers for mascara, actually. They're green and they're testers for mascara. But I think they're pretty cool. Whoa, that just stuck to my arm. So yeah, they're brand new testers for mascara. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take those and use them on something. I don't know what, but that's okay. So I'll do that. Uh, oh, let me show you guys this because you are not, you're not going to believe it. What was in the box with all that face stuff. Hold on. about getting lucky right which I don't know what this has anything to do with facial stuff but it was on the same box so oh it is the Dermalogica it's the same brand that's probably why they threw them out but we got uh, three um like orange ones we got three of them so I think that's cool. They're kind of older like though, like, you know, there's nothing really fancy about them. They're older, but they were still free. I washed them all really nicely too. So there's three of these. Oops, sorry. There's three of those. And there is Okay, there's one, two, I think there's 17 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, there's 17 of these. And it's actually taken them forever to dry. Just kind of a pain in the butt, but it's taken them forever to dry. But this is how they look like. This one's pretty much dry. Like, I don't know. I never really... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the fan brush for highlighter. I'm just not. I'm not. I don't know. If you guys use these, God bless you. So... This is how they look like. Anyways, they're like clear. It says Dermalogica on them. Just the regular, regular white fan brush. 17 of those bad boys. Like, who am I going to give these to? Who's going to use these? Who knows how to use these? 
And teach me if you know how, because I would like to know. Shit. I just use like a regular brush. I found this brush. My favorite, it's, the funny thing is my favorite, and I got a bunch of brushes, but my favorite, um, my favorite, uh, my favorite brush for eyeshadow is this Firma brush I got in a, I don't know if it was in the Ipsy bag or in something, is my Firma brush. And it's getting so old that the paint is coming off of it, like on this one, from washing it so many times. So... Um... Yeah, my favorite eyeshadow brush is falling apart. I have other brushes, but I just love the size of that one and it fits my eyeballs really good. But I found that they put this brush in with those fan brushes and it doesn't say a brand or anything like that. It is a little bit slanted. My Firma one isn't, but I think, and it's gray. And then I like, it's got like um, light, brown and purple and white hairs, I guess. That's what the, what it has. But, um, what was I going to say? I, I kind of, I like this brush. This, this one I'm definitely going to keep. I like this brush for eyeshadow. Alrighty. You all right in there, Ange? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next, I found, speaking of eyeshadow, I found, which I haven't seen them throw away Urban Decay stuff in a while, um, the Urban Decay, and I had this before, but I didn't really use it. So this time I'm actually going to try it because there is still a bunch in there. I just put it, it didn't come, I, I didn't find it with the top, which the top is like a little diamond thing. Um, I didn't find it with the top, so I just put it in a baggie. Whatever I don't find with the top, I either put it in a baggie or I usually put it in a baggie. <laughs> I use my son's snack, school snack bags for my cosmetics that don't have the top. I used to throw them out, but like I've started finding really cool things. And I was like, why the hell am I throwing them out? I could just be using them. Who cares? It's not going to go bad just because it doesn't have a top. It just, you know, it just isn't as um, easy. Uh, so this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and it's anti-aging. Um, long lasting eyeshadow base, anti-age base. The Fard A something something. It says it in French. It was made in the USA. Yeah, long-lasting eyeshadow base. So it's a long-lasting eyeshadow base. Which is funny, I just gave, um, I had a brand new Ulta um, eyeshadow primer. And I gave that to my girlfriend, so. We'll see how this one works. I'll use it. I will start using it, okay? Okay. I like face primer, so I'll try this. I've tried this one, um eyeshadow primer and it was like very very like I don't know it was hard to wash off and I did not like that like I don't I don't like things like it's got to be a good there's good brands out there and I've learned that there's good brands out there that certain brands are kind of eh, in my opinion because you either can't wash them off or they don't look right on your face and I don't like that, you know? So if you know better, it's nice. It's nice to know better about that stuff. Next, I found concealer. It's the NYX Professional Makeup. And it's got a little heart on it. I like how NYX has the little heart. They always did. I like that. Um, professional Makeup, Born to Glow. Radiant Concealer anti-creases so born to glow radiant concealer radiant concealer doo -doo 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 -doo, and that's all it says and this was brand new and this is in the color vanilla 
oops, sorry, wrong side. It says born to glow. You really can't see it. You kind of can't see it because it's like flashing back and forth, but it says born to glow by NYX. It's brand new. Let me see. Oh, and it comes with like this little tubey thingy, which I actually really like this little, I don't know. It's almost like a brush attached to it, like a spongy thingy. And I like that because you just, you could just squeeze it a little bit and it'll come out. And then you, you know, you could just use this as your start of your application, you know, anyways. So that's kind of cool. But so that's that. And then I found two of these. So one day I found one and then the next day I found another one. And these are very, very pretty. This one is still in its... Um, this one is still sealed in plastic and everything. Um, these are the Ulta Beauty, um, it says automatic eyeliner. Um, it's black glitter and I think it's really freaking pretty. So it's black eyeliner. I wouldn't use it on my, um, like you could do it, you could use it underneath I wouldn't use it on my waterline because I think the glitter would bother your eyes. I wouldn't use it on your waterline, but you could use it on your top lid or bottom lid. And it's very, very pretty. And especially for like um, Halloween coming up, I think it's very pretty. It's black with silver glitter. It's awesome. Very awesome. I used to have a black with silver glitter. It was by a different brand. I don't remember what brand, but... I kind of like this Alta one too. So that's cool. Next product. And I really like, I actually, I'm happy I found this. I am happy I found this just in case. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So one side you have your little brow spoolie, nice and clean. And then the other side, I think this was a tester but there's still a lot, a lot of product in there. Just give me a second here. I still have like that much brow stuff. So that makes me happy. And I looked these up online and these are not cheap. So I'm like, God damn Anastasia, why is your stuff so expensive? But I'll use it on my eyebrows. I need to fix them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. I need to fix them up. But I was very happy I found that. Just so I could, I don't know, just so I could mess with it. And this is in the color Toupee. So that's the color. The color is Toupee. Okay. Now. Let me see. Okay. What else did I want to show you guys before I end the video? I'm trying to remember. Oh. I also found, because I usually take like a cardboard box from there. And, uh, ew, there's stuff on here. I always usually take a cardboard box from um, Ulta. And, uh, what do you call it? Um, and I put all the stuff that I find in the box. But I found one more thing. I just didn't, I didn't clean it yet. So I can't really, I don't know. I didn't clean it yet. But it's very, very pretty. This is the um, BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Eyeshadow Palette. It's got 16 colors and it's like super freaking pretty and it was so dirty and messy and it's going to get all over my hands just to show you guys. But So it's the Mimosa. Mimosa. I wish I had a freaking Mimosa right about now. It's got a big mirror though. It's really nice. 
Um, so it's got, I can't even, I literally can't even like show you guys. You guys have to look it up online, but I found it. It's got most of the colors. They're all broken up, trust me. It's got like yellows, orange, pink with glitter, um, regular like pink mixed with something, more different oranges. It's got a white. It's got a light, medium-ish light brown. It's got different pinks and a lighter brown. And then it's got like a pinky with glitter. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like watch, I'll show you like this. It still has to be cleaned and it's dirty. But it is very pretty. It is a pretty palette. It's a very pretty palette, so. There's still a little... There's there's still a good amount of stuff in there. I just... Like I said, I didn't have enough energy to clean this bad boy yet. Like, I cleaned all this crap. So, that's that. I just didn't feel like cleaning it yet. I'll clean it tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys. Because I don't want to, like... I hate when I go dumpster diving and then I do a video and I like forget to show you guys things. Cause I like to put my stuff away or put it where it's gonna go or to who it's gonna go and then do what I gotta do. Since I dumpster dive so much, you know? It's not like I could just keep this stuff in my kitchen to videotape a week from now. You know what I mean? Especially with, with my son and just, I can't, I can't do that. It, it would drive me nuts. So I like to show everything that I get, get it out of the way, and then next time I go, I can show you the other things, you know? But, so I found that palette, and <sighs> that's basically all the stuff I found dumpster diving, but I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Um, I was at Dollar Tree the other day, actually two times, today and yesterday. I went to Dollar Tree and I found that they have very, very cool facial wipes. These are, there's 32 of them for $1. These cleanse and hydrate, they smell kind of nice. These cleanse and hydrate, they're facial wipes infused with rose oil. My son just used one on his face. And they do kind of smell like roses. Like they have a specific rose smell. Kind of like it. I just hope a refreshing way to, this is what it says, a refreshing, blah, 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 blah. A refreshing way to reveal skin that is not only deeply cleaned, but softer, smoother, and more noticeably radiant. Is what it says. But they had... They had five different kinds. This is the pink pink one. They had like a green one. You're fine. They had like a green one. They had the pink one. I think they had a blue one, maybe a yellow one. There was like five different kinds. I had no idea which one to pick. But I was like, you know what? These ones look cool. Let's try it. So I did. I kind of wanted to get a different color, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah. I just wanted to tell you guys for a dollar at Dollar Tree, if you're interested in face wipes and you can't afford the expensive ones or you'd like to save money, they have good ones at Dollar Tree. Um, that's everything I wanted to show today. So I will be ending the video by saying goodbye to you guys. Me and my son are probably going to read a book and go to bed. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, holy crap, that's a lot of brushes. <laughs> um, no, but have a good night. Um, have a good night, and I hope I will be seeing you guys soon with some more cool stuff that I find. Bye.